Alright guys, welcome along to another tutorial video. Now this is how to use the mod conversion tool in the New Giants editor. Thanks very much for pointing that one out. I could not find the damn thing anywhere. <laughs> but basically, we did a copy of the Ursus tractor. Uh, back when we were OEB. It's, it's one I worked on. I changed the back end because it did not get the update for 15 that everything else did. Uh, it was a shame because it's a pretty little tractor but I basically nicked the back end off the Sammy threw it on this made it look good all you do is drag that I put it in a folder on my desktop I'm just a new folder thrown it in there then you fire up GE a blank GE I was the Giants editor come to file and it's open mod voila open her up see it's looking for XML and a zip not quite sure on the XML front, but a zip we can deal with. We got this. Then you open it. Working directory. Yep, same folder. Going to make a new folder. Okay. Oh, doesn't like it. Upgrade files automatically using the cloud service. Yes, let's have a go. Uh, it wants it now in converted. I can live with that. Voila. Now the basic gears it didn't like, but everything else went through because obviously it can't convert basic gear that's a custom script but everything else jobs are good star item blah 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 yep okay sweet it is now in the new GE and looking good now there's some waffling bits going on here but we can fix that very very simply all shapes file yada 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 yeah simples save it close it down into converted, reload it, should have a clean log. We have a clean log. Awesome. Right, what we do need to do then is get in there and just have a node basically. Yep. Oh, change that, change that. Nice, nice. What we're going to do is block off basic gears. I am not converting that mod <laughs> that's how you do it now when it reads this it will not read that but for a basic in-game mod we could have just put tractor over in the XML then ooh, I changed some stuff in there to be adjusted manually ah so we have to do some work there then it didn't like it So there's still some stuff you have to do yourself. What else are we looking at? I'm not seeing anything else jump out yet though. What's it changed here? It's changed the exhaust effect. Okay. And we've got all the star data down the bottom. So it seems to have done some stuff. I wonder, will this tractor work in game as is? Let's find out copy over here into the mods folder paste it fire up the game just how good is the cloud conversion where are you oh she's there I see. All the way to it. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, no. Shift and tab, tabs backwards. They are not the right wheels. <laughs> So the engine sounds out right, the wheels out right. I'm gonna have to I guess and say the lights out right either. But it's took a big load of off us though, actually getting it into the game. It's changed all the shaders. Which is a really good start. And I 
believe on this particular one the axle got done no the axle didn't get done but yeah that's a really good start as you can see the back end on this is a bit different and the dash works as well nice so it remembers some stuff then so there's still a fair bit of work to do manually but straight off the bat though that's not too bad at all it's in game it works how bad are the log oh dear <laughs> ah the sounds out there because they're not there in the mod file okay it doesn't look like something's gone wrong invalid method it'd be a lot easier if we just actually looked at the log file wouldn't it just how bad is this then can we see that there we go all right let's have a gander see that's the script that's not active supposedly invalid vectors color string vector oh dear lower distance to ground so it's missing quite a lot it's not quite as beautiful as what I was hoping a color string for vector I wonder what that could possibly be for I have absolutely no idea but anyway guys this video was basically to show you how it works we covered that afterwards you're going to have to come into your log like this to track down the issues. And obviously the visual side, those wheels are not right. But the way to find your log is My Documents, My Games, FS17, Log. Voila. That's how you find your log and that is how you proceed to try and figure out what the hell's just gone wrong. <laughs> but we did do a test. It doesn't convert custom scripts. By the looks of things so either convert the script yourself if you know how or remove it it's keep it as default as possible and you're gonna have a little bit of luck with this thing but that's pretty cool I'm impressed with that so guys that is how you work with the cloud converter tool it does quite a lot of the things for you but still leaves you some work to do not bad though not bad Right, thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Laters.